hello friends today we are going to see a very important topic bow tie risk analysis there were several requests from our fans to prepare one small slide regarding bow tie risk analysis so we will see each and every aspect of bow tie risk analysis only in 10 minutes i have a i mean a determination to give you information on each and every subject from now onwards only in 10 minutes so please bear with uh, i mean uh, yourself with us for learning this aspect of bow tie risk analysis this is about me you can go through if you wish later on or by uh, slowing down the videos this is iitc profile we will not go through line by line you can take your own time and you can go through if you are interested and if there is a need these are the key competencies of uh, iit consultancy this is where we deliver the services to our uh, industries our partners you can definitely use this slide for training your people if you are a maintenance team for construction team engineering team you can always use this 10 minute slide for any safety moment in your organization if you follow any safety moment kind of presentation before training after training or for any situation now question who can attend this program any people or any team or any function or any profile who are in oil and gas chemical pharmaceutical steel power plant nuclear power plant petrochemical fertilizer process industry or any industry or if you are interested to make your career in these industries you may be operator, fitter, maintenance, supervisor, electrical engineer, instrument engineer, safety team, middle management, top management. For information, you can definitely, I mean, take your 10 minutes to go through this slide. As you might uh, understand by the word bow tie, bow tie is basically a pictorial representation to develop MAS scenarios. There are many softwares available in the market, but uh, the famous are Bowtie XP software, which is available in the market. Uh, you can buy this software uh, with uh, I mean, 5,000 to 10,000 US dollar. Or if you negotiate, it can be cheaper also. If you don't have the software, you can prepare your own Excel sheet, and I will provide a link of Excel sheet by which you can uh, use and you can run the bow tie risk analysis. This is very short, simple, easy. You can definitely use Excel based software and I am going to put a link to download for your use. Now we can see with the help of this slide, this is a simple graphical pictorial representation let me explain you how to understand this if you see in the middle in the middle of this uh, i mean uh, slide there is a hazardous event that means this is an accident situation if you go on the left side this says you about the prevention about the preventive measures these are about preventive barriers we will see everything in the following slide about the all potential causes, all potential threats, and then uh, uh, barriers of each threat. Then there is escalation of each threat. Then we need to identify the control measure to prevent the escalation. So at this point of time, we need to only understand the left side is called as a preventive barriers or preventive uh, measures what we are supposed to take before an accident. This is why it is called a before uh, accident. If you go on the right side, this is a recovery uh, uh, barriers or recovery measures. We need to identify uh, all the possible consequences of an accident. Then we have to identify the recovery barriers. Then we need to identify the uh, 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 potential escalation. Then we need to identify the control measures for, I mean, uh, recovery of an accident or to damage control these are the things we need to uh, consider once accident has happened but we need to prepare ourselves in advance we will see each and everything on preventive barriers and on recovery barriers beginning from threat identification 
barrier identification, escalation, and control measures in the following slide. Likewise, on the right side, we will see all, all the consequences, all the I mean, remedial measures, escalation, and the control measures in the following slide. Now we are going to see the simple methodology of uh, carrying out uh, bow tie risk analysis. This is a six step uh, uh, actions or activities what we are going to use on the left side for identifying the preventive um, measures and barriers. First and foremost, we need to identify the MAH uh, from the LOPA and uh, HAJIT uh, sheet. And after identifying the um, MAH, we, we know what are the top events. And after identifying the top events, we need to identify the probable threats or you can say consequence uh, for uh, I mean, uh, possible causes for that uh, accident. After identifying all the threats, we need to identify how we can, uh, I mean, uh, how we can create a barrier to that threat so that that threat and cause does not realize. After identifying the barriers, we must know what are the escalation measure. Uh, uh, escalation measure for each uh, barrier. And after identifying all the escalation measures, we need to put additional control so that it does not escalate, so that does, uh, threat does not realize, so that the cause does not realize. And if you are able to uh, uh, successfully control the causes that means there will be no accident as you know that we have understood the barriers preventive barriers as well as uh, recovery barriers see barriers may be hard barrier or soft barrier you can see few examples of barrier for a pressure vessel against over pressurizations uh, you can say that uh, first barrier is adequate vessel design this is soft barrier code and practices and maintenance programs these are the soft barriers and hard barriers may be a psv pressure safety valve pressure switch high high pressure alarm low low or pressure alarm high high rdv or pvsv pressure vacuum safety valve these are the hard barriers An example of mitigating barriers can be i mean uh, seen as a separation distance because separation distance is one of the important um, measure to reduce the consequence on the right side of this poti um, blast valve. You can create a RCC blast valve between two tanks so that uh, consequence can be reduced. It can uh, reduce the domino effect. We can have the emergency response plan. We can have a drill. So these are the few examples of uh, preventive barriers and mitigating barriers as we knew that barriers may be a shop or may be hard. Now we will see the right side of bow tie. Although we have understood the basic concept of uh, uh, right side portion of bow tie is uh, remedial barriers or recovery barriers. We will see there are four steps identify the consequence of the major accident hazard after identifying the consequence, we need to identify the uh, re uh, recovery barriers. Uh, we need to identify the recovery barriers for each accident. And after that, we need to identify uh, the escalation for each recovery barriers. And after identifying the escalation measures, we have to put a suitable and sufficient control so that it does not escalate. And that means we can have a damage control uh, system in place and there is no issues regarding uh, uh, any accident uh, or post accident consequence reduction measures. Friends, this is the simple example uh, to make you understand this concept after identifying the top event from the hazard sheet or LOPA sheet, we need to identify the threats for all, all the threats for this top event. There may be several threats, there may be several causes for the accident. And after identifying the threats or co causes, we need to identify all the preventive barriers so that cause does not realize. After identifying all the preventive barriers, we need to identify the escalation measures, escalation measures for all the preventive barriers. Then we need to identify 
the control measure for that escalation. This is the, on the left side of this bow and tie. If you have any difficulty to understand this thing, so feel free put, uh, to put in the comment section. I will come back to you on uh, uh, your comments. On the right side, if you see after identifying the top event, we need to identify the consequences. Uh, there will be many consequences of one event and after identifying the consequences, we need to identify the recovery barriers. Uh, there may be many recovery barriers for one consequence or each consequence. Then we need to identify the escalation factor of that I mean, recovery barriers. And after identifying the uh, escalation me uh, measures, we need to put a uh, control measures for that escalation. So this is how we do a bow tie risk analysis. This is very simple, very short. If you are having any difficulty, definitely you are welcome to put in the comment section or I would request you to please go through this presentation slowly again once or twice so that you can understand it very completely, very clearly. Friends, by now we have understood uh, the simple bow tie risk analysis. This slide says about LARP demonstration requirement. I have prepared a separate 10 minutes video for you to understand what is LRP demonstration and how it is done. Basically, we will see uh, in that presentation uh, the minimum barriers uh, or uh, barriers per threats, uh, minimum number of escalation factors per barrier, and minimum numbers of escalation control measures for each escalation factor in preventive I mean, uh, side and mitigating side. Please, uh, if you are interested to understand the LR for demonstration. So please go through uh, the 10 minutes video. I will provide you the link and you will understand uh, the minimum number of barriers per escalation, minimum number of escalation factor per barrier and minimum number of uh, escalation control for each uh, escalation factor on preventive side as well as on mitigating side. As you know that barriers uh, are to be qualified, barriers uh, should be an independent, should be effective, should be auditable. And as we understood in the previous slide that pre barrier may be a soft or hard, barriers may be a design features, may be hardware, may be process and procedures, may be operation inter intervention. So these are the basic uh, qualification or uh, uh, requirement for a barrier. This is a simple barrier model. You can see here barrier, uh, uh, preventive barriers and the uh, recovery barrier. These are the threads and you can understand uh, there are many, many barriers on the preventive side. There are many, many barriers on the recovery side. If you see thread side, uh, you can see process control systems are barrier. Process safety management system is a barrier. Safety critical elements are barrier. Task management is a barrier. Mm -hmm. Preventive and isolation barriers. And on the recovery side, fire management, uh, recovery isolation, depressurization, temporary refuge, uh, uh, toxic isolation. These are the recovery barriers. I will not take much time of yours over here. I have provided a link separately for LRP demonstration and barrier assessment. You can feel free to go through this slide separately as per your comfortable time. I would recommend you to go through these following videos what I have prepared only for you and each videos are not more than 10 minutes which says about LARP demonstration, what is LARP demonstration, what is the qualification of LARP and how it is done. And QRA, a simple awareness program for QRA, you can understand in 10 minutes the basic concept of QRA and what is a location specific individual risk, what is the individual risk per annum, what is the potential loss of life, what is FN curve. You must understand if you are interested to build your career or to understand better, I mean, uh, uh, technical aspect of QRA. Failure frequency estimation, there is separate video. Consequence modeling, there is separate video. A risk reduction measure is a very, uh, 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 very great challenge for uh, LRP demonstration. And we also need to understand what is the risk matrix, how risk matrix are to be designed, what is the pearl, what is the people, what is the reputation, what is the environment, what is the health, uh, what is 5 by five, 5, five, 5 matrix, what is 4 by 4 matrix, what is 3 by 3 matrix. That you Friends, we have seen the basic understanding of bow tie risk analysis and uh, I am going to provide the link for you guys to understand other, I mean, short videos for you 
and yourself if you are interested to go for the advanced course or learning so you are most welcome to visit our website you can get the certificates and uh, you can definitely use this slide for uh, your management for your uh, team to explain them very clearly